So welcome to the session, uh, how to use Dataverse as a knowledge source in Copilot Studio. Uh, write down in the chat if you recognize which uh, favorite TV show that could be. So let's see who will be the first to win this. Um, my name is Bülent Altinsor and um, I am based uh, here in Germany. And uh, my origin is um, Turkish, so my parents come from Turkey. I'm an MCT since uh, 2021, so I'm terrorizing that everyone in my organization uh, as an MCT now. Uh, my organization a company is m and um, I'm working there since over 13 years, and um, I'm the global business application portfolio lead. That means that I'm uh, maintaining the training for our business uh, and CRM and ERP and also Power Platform. And um, this year, I also started the fun at the beginning of this year with uh, contributing in the community um, and also have started also blogging and um, sharing my knowledge because I had lots of nonsense to tell to you and um, also as a speaker, um, so like today. So my blog is that Aloha guy. So you see on the picture already, this is the Pacific Ocean in the background. So uh, I'm in love with Hawaii since I was there in the honeymoon. And since then I'm back and just telling everyone in Germany, Aloha, no one understands me. Everyone thinks I'm super crazy. Yep, that's me. Um, I'm active on LinkedIn and also I've started a YouTube channel, but more active on LinkedIn. I, most probably you have seen me already there. So today the scenario is um, I want to explain what I want to tell and show you today. So first of all, um, this hopefully looks like me if I would have much more like a beard that looks like blood, more like Paris. But anyhow, this is the Aloha man and the Aloha man loves obviously co-pilot. So that's the reason why I'm here today. And obviously he also loves traveling. Uh, traveling is very important. Um, that happened to me as well in the beginning of this month, you know, when I was on vacation in Turkey and enjoyed sun. And now I'm looking outside, it's only rainy, so boo. So if you just go to different countries, it can happen that you need different currency. So it's not like that you everywhere pay, you know, with credit cards, unfortunately. So in Turkey was the case, you know, the taxi driver didn't accept my credit card and euro, the base currency, which I'm using here in Germany, uh -uh, no chance. So I just needed to exchange money. But um, guess what? If you just do this on an ATM or more importantly at the airport, well, it's like you're getting robbed. So it's like you lose a lot of money. In that case, it would be really good if you somehow get the best win-win for you. So the best possible exchange rate. So what you can do obviously is you can just go to website and can look manually all the time, all the time. But you know, in the age of AI, so why shall we do this? Remember, we love Copilot, right? So let's make the best out of it. And hey, there is a tool which we can just use. Low code, no code, Copilot Studio. And this is now also the, the solution for us today. In that case, there is something which is called knowledge source. So you add a public website to this. This is the answer, right? So this solves everything. But look at this. This is a European Central Bank, and I just only want to add a specific page, but it's already more as two levels deep. So as you can see here, doesn't work. So what can we do now? So in that case, um, so there must be another solution for that. So one of my friends, Sean, just told me, use an UL shortener, but guess what? It didn't work out. Dataverse to the rescue. This is my answer for today, and that's the solution I just brought for you. So with this today, I want to try to convince that Dataverse previously, it is currently in preview, just really works. So let's go and let's have a look. So this is a site I could now check manually on my site. You see it's still not refreshed by me. It's still the date from uh, yesterday. And I can go in, I can now just look for the Turkish Lira. Oh my goodness, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's here. You know, I already lost very little time just to search for this. So just imagine you have other currencies, maybe not really uh, reference on that page. So let's go now and let's start a demo on this. So I'm just closing this part in that case. So we are not getting distracted and we're only looking at that beautiful chatbot. So are you ready? Let's go. Let's click on yes. We want to start. 
Did um, Clippy is back? This is for you, Chris Huntingford. His mission is he thinks he believes that Copilot is the new Clippy. That's why I just put it in here. So this is now our new currency converter, and we can ask right away any questions now to this. So like, uh, Clippy, can you give me uh, the exchange rate for US dollar, for example? Uh, Typos, typos, I'm famous for typos. So in that case, let's see what is as an answer will come out. Fantastic. So the exchange rate for US dollar is 1.1194. So fantastic, good, great, that works. It works also for the other currencies. Uh, believe me, just believe me. So, but this experience, obviously, how does it work? So let me just go and show you the knowledge source in that case. So this is the table. It is a pretty simple database table. I'm just going in. I have just added this and has, if you just look and preview, it has pretty simple three uh, columns there. One for currency, one for name, and one for spot. There's the uh, exchange rate in that case. Uh, and I just have filtered. So everything looks so fine so far. So the question now is, um, is this now the best experience ever what we have here? Can we make it a little bit better? Yes, we can. So um, in that case, there's also one of the questions just came to me because sometimes if you know this will be generated, uh, this is also the thing I wanted to show you. I'm nervous, I'm sorry. So let me, let's go back and just go to the conversational boost. And then in that case, how it been then yes, this is generative answer. You don't need to anything to do. You just have just to go in here into the properties and just have to click on this one. You need to deactivate it, allow AI to use its own general knowledge because every time it just more or less overrides what I want to do with Dataverse if it not successfully find that. So now there can be a better version of this and a little bit better. So how can we do this? So in that case, I'm just writing prompt. So, and the one other already is not getting excited because we are using prompts. So in that case, what's happening is this is now Clippy 2.0, the MVP version, the most improved partner version. So, and it's still our body and helps us out here in that case. So what I have done is now I'm just asking which currency shall we convert from the Euro to, and then look at this, we have buttons here now. So in that case, uh, I can use again, US dollar, so that you will see uh, what's happening. So I have just this time not um, faded out. So you can just see magically and live what's happening there. And it can take some time, you know, dataverse, knowledge source in preview, and it's also trial version. But look at this, one euro corresponds to $1.1195. So if I just say, yes, I just want to try this again, um, I can look at this and uh, say Turkish lira, for example, Hopefully this time it will not take so long. No, this time it's a little bit faster. So you see, the good thing about this one here is that um, it looks a little bit more consistent. So if you just go to the prompt directly, so let's have a look in the prompt. So let me say yes again. And the Japanese, Japanese, you know, Japanese always cool. So in that case, what I'm just doing is I have in that case here, um, I'm just taking this here as um, a choice. I'm just converting that here to a string so I can make it use, and I'm using that now in my currency here. So if I just go to my model, and this takes ages to load, I'm sorry for this already. So I'm speaking that slow so that I'm just, you know, saving some time for us, but um, hopefully it will come. Um, here we go. So what I'm just doing is I can create any kind of inputs. This is, you know, string. In that case, I'm just asking, look for any records where the currency is equal to the name in the currency table. And then I'm saying summarize it by the following text. One euro corresponds to, you know, the currency and also to the exchange rate. And then I get a little bit more, you know, consistency into that. And, you know, it's not like the generative AI stuff is just generating me funny text sometimes. So that was also one of the questions that people just asked me. So now I have Dataverse and now the question there is, can I find someone who is just going overnight and update me all the currency manually? 
Of course, if there's someone who just wants to do this, be my guest. But let's say we can just do this with automation. And what happens is I do have a Power Automate flow, which just do this. So the Power Automate flow looks like this. Shout out to Damien Bird. I didn't know how I can scrape data from any website. I was just looking in YouTube and then found this video and just have used his materials more or less, but I just have added, obviously, to adding to Dataverse and additional uh, steps. I will not go through this now fully. I have just described it in the blog post. So in that case, if you're just interested and curious how do you want to build this, uh, be my guest in that case. So what is happening is now look at the following time. So let's say the Japanese gen is like this. And when I just click now on update, what happens is it just starts now another topic. And then I can just bring in something like currency update is in progress. So I can just give some people some kind of, hey, you have to wait and wait. We don't tell you how much you have to wait, but you have to wait. So hopefully this will not take that long. Um, otherwise, I would start to sing, and I'm pretty sure this has to be cut out of the video, and no one wants to see me singing, believe me. So in that case, um, the Power Meet flow is just running and updating then in the background. And once this is then ready, let's have a look again. So remember this name is this number here in this case. So let's go for the Japanese gen again, and let's see if this has been updated. So excitement. Hooray, it worked. So one time it didn't work for me, it just broke, but I'm happy that it works with the demo. Didn't. Uh, in that case, uh, this is the way how you can just make and automate it. Obviously, you would make it more on a you know scheduled way with Power Automate Flow, so overnight, something like this. So that was only just for demo purposes, uh, what I did. Last thing, bonus thing, uh, because I got five additional more minutes today. So in that case, um, I have also look at this and where you can just use this. You know, you can just use something like this. I just have to reload it to be very sure. So you can use, for example, a Canvas app. So I'm a huge fan of a Canvas app as well. That could be, for example, your travel portal, for example. And guess what? You can also now add now co-pilots from Copilot Studio there as well. So if you just have this live and you click on this one here, then it just loads a preview of Copilot and you can, you know, put all of that information there as well. So unfortunately, it does not work with everything. So as you can see, we can't see Clippy. Oh man, that breaks my heart. But you can just ask around that kind of question, something like, um, can you uh, tell me the rate for uh, US dollar? Yeah. So, and that kind of things works. So no picture. So also the Clippy 2.0 version will not work because, you know, um, the buttons are not appearing there. And now, of course, here we go. It works. So in that case, so uh, once again, if I just use that to second version, I just have to think about other things because no pictures will be shown, no buttons will be shown, but I'm pretty sure Microsoft is already working exactly right in this time once they have seen that video, uh, how to improve this. So in that case, um, going back to my slide, and uh, Dataverse to the rescue, hooray, it worked. So that is that is the thing I wanted to show you. Damn. Okay, now the demo was already there. <laughs> Anyhow, that's the end of the show. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it a little bit.